Hello, I'm Fred McNeil, and thank you for watching QAC TV 7. You're watching a great show called Conversations With, and we just put the Fred in to put something up. Every week we bring in interesting people, and we're trying to give you good news. If you're like me, you're tired of hearing bad news, and we're going to give you some real good news on the county this week. We have Commissioner Jim Moran with us. Jim, thank you. I know you're in the middle of a job, mm -hmm. and thank you for making a special trip. Anytime. Now look at help us out. Tell us some of the good things going on in Queen Anne's County. Well, why don't we just start with today? Okay, go why right down Why don't we start the with list. today and the go. weather? Oh, Absolutely perfect. beautiful. Oh, come on. And then, and then we'll, we'll segue right into the fact that I have four beautiful grandchildren and a fifth one on the way. Well, will congratulations, be here in September, right? so. You got me outnumbered when you get five. That's right, right. so, so that, that's a good thing. But I, why don't we start with just the, uh, the budget? I mean, money, money's important to everybody. And that's the most important yeah. thing on and, everybody's list. And, and in Queen Anne's County, our budget is balanced. Our budget is healthy. Our reserves are one of the healthiest in the state of Maryland. Perfect. We have funded everything that we feel is important. We have um, our park system, which everybody uses, and, and, and we're getting a lot of uh, attaboys for it. Uh, the Cross Island Trail. This year, we've been able to pump in about $2.6 million into new projects at the parks. Great. Uh, and that was just by consolidating all of the existing older uh, projects that we had that had fund balance and or we changed our mind. So there's a lot of things going on there. Now, let me and, just ask you, are we getting federal government? I mean, I keep reading, every day yeah. I read the paper, mm -hmm. federal government money coming. Yeah. Are yeah. we getting it in the county? Yes, oh, we yes, are. we are getting it. So with that being said, before we get to the federal money, the That's state fine. money, you know, just found out yesterday uh, that uh, the state is going to give us a million dollars for okay. parks. Oh, just for Outside parks. recreation, so which is, you know, which is great. I mean, our, our playground systems, those playground systems are very expensive. Uh, and, you know, you have to keep them up because of the safety issues. So okay. that million dollars is going to help somewhere along the line with, oh, with, with uh, playground systems. And when it comes to the federal money, uh, Queen Anne's County is getting about $9 million. $9 million. Yeah. Now, how's that yeah. earmarked, Jim? Well, it, we've discussed it a couple times. Mm -hmm. I think uh, we're going to, a large chunk of that is going to go towards broadband. Okay. You know, we're still working, you know, uh, our, our broadband committee has, has gone out and found projects that uh, shovel-ready projects that, that could be funded, working in, in conjunction with other uh, utility companies that want to get a chop tank co-op, for instance, and, and some of the other ones that want to get into Queen Anne's County and want to run this and get us connected. So, so that's, that's a, a, a real key for us as we found out through COVID, you know, that the connectivity, was, which we already knew, was always- work a, at home, you got to be able to connect. That's right, right. and our kids for, for learning got to be yeah. able to connect. So. You know, that's, that's some of the things that are going on there. But so there is the federal government and the state money. Is oh, yeah. All of that's coming And we through. have a balanced budget. And we have a balanced budget with very healthy reserves. Okay. So, you just so, made everybody happy. We yeah. can stop the show yeah. now. So <laughs> and no new taxes. It's okay. been over 10 years. or ten. Okay. Right, right, I think we're right at 10 years. Uh, I've been on the job for eight. And, uh, you know, there's no new taxes coming. Uh, and, and we're in a, in a good place. So no financial yeah. surprises for the residents Not at of Queen Anne's County. Not at all. That's Not at probably all. the best Not news of the day. Yep. Yeah. And we're the third lowest in the state of Maryland as far as property tax. Okay. So that, you know, it's, it's, it's a plus for the citizens of Queen Anne's County and what we're able to do with those funds. And, you know, as you saw from the new courthouse, the, the Southern Kent Island sewer, it's, which is a, uh, an enterprise zone, uh, meaning that it's self-funded in, in the grants we get from the state. Uh, the project is, is on to, ahead of schedule okay. and it's on budget. So. You can't ask for no anything else. No complaints about that. None. Now, no. will that continue to grow? Or, I mean, yes. is there an end in sight on that project? Or what? Oh, not for an, at least another three years. Okay. I mean, it, it's all phased in. They're working their way up, and and uh, you know, the next phase is is, is funded. And and actually, now the, I think we're we're having. I think it's in June. The first meeting in June uh, for the assessments for those that, that were able to hook up to it. Right. Right. I mean, at one time there, we had people calling. When am I getting hooked up? When am I getting hooked right. up? And, right. And if you can remember what it was like six years ago, oh, seven years ago, sure. when we had some of these meetings. It got yeah, ugly. It got, it ugly. got ugly. And now, you know, uh, God bless the fact that everybody's, uh, you know, happy that it's being done. And it is cleaning up the environment. Yes, it, it is. It is. I mean, it's allowing people to expand their homes. Uh, you know, uh, the infill's the infill, but the, that's set at a certain number. And when it gets to that number, it's... You know, it's so done. we're on target, yeah. and yep. there's a plan, and there's an end in sight, so Absolutely. to speak. Absolutely, okay. yes. Well, terrific. Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, let me, uh, let me, I'll throw a question. Sure. Look at, uh, my son put this picture up, so you huh? can blame him. All right. Everyone I taught, funny, mm -hmm. I walk around town, uh -huh. what are we going to do with the Bay Bridges? Right. What are right. we going to do? Right. What's, is there, tell me what commissioners are thinking. Well, uh, 
Okay, this is this is a good question because okay. With what happened with COVID, uh, and I give you a little background. Okay. Uh, we, I, ha and other commissioners, are would love to do some town halls. We'd love to do some town halls in the Stevensville, Graysonville, Chester area. Talk to people. About Talk to issue. people. Educate people about the bridge, because uh -huh. right now people are under the assumption that, okay, uh, we know the state is is doing the the NEPA study to find out the location, and the location that they they, they are picking is where these are, bridges are now. Right. And there is uh, a, a great wave of misunderstanding that, well, if they build a third bridge, it's going to increase traffic by 30, 40, 50 percent. Mm. And that's just not the case. Not true. Uh, uh, also, they feel that if they say no, then it's just going to go away. Well, what's not going to go away is the traffic that we have not now. getting any. No. And no. fewer cars are not coming across. That's the correct. Bridge, yes. Right? And we have the county has counters. So, you know, uh, there was an article in the newspaper last week, I think it was from uh, Anne Arundel County, and it, you know, saying why they are, they are going to oppose the bridge where it's located now. Okay. And you know, what struck me as odd was when they said, you know, why don't you take into account the reduction in traffic that's going on due to COVID and people working at home? Mm -hmm. It's never been the commuters as our traffic issues. We don't have a traffic problem from October through May. Yeah. It's we the just, Ocean City crowd. I'm sorry. Right. Correct. It's, it's, it's the beaches. Yes. And, you know, yes. and I don't blame Ocean City as much no. as I do Delaware because, you know, they're just, it's, it's everywhere they you go, they're, they're building. So it is, it is beach traffic. And, and, you know, for people to say, well, your commuter traffic is, is reduced because of COVID and people working at home, we don't need a new bridge. Well, the last two Sundays, we've had two mile and three mile backups, and it hasn't even started. I went yeah. yesterday to Easton. Mm -hmm. I was shocked at the amount of traffic right. on 50 yep. on, a, on, a, on a Thursday. Right. And it's not even Memorial Day weekend. Right. Yeah. This is just, we're a geographic accident. Exactly. You want to go to Ocean City, guess what? Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know. Well, and so, so you know, when, when the argument or, or the discussion has always been, well, yes or no to the bridge, and what, how is that going to impact us? Well, we, we need to stop looking at it as a third span, number one. Uh, and, and I actually did an editorial, and it's in today's paper, if, if anybody wants to read like that. Observer which answers, okay. yes, okay. right. And it, it answers a lot of those questions. Okay. You know, this is not so much a third span as it is a replacement bridge. Uh, the the, the two-lane bridge was 52. The three-lane bridge was 73. The two-lane bridge is going to come to its life cycle end here by 2040-something, you know. Okay. Uh, but... So be that as it may, I, I you know I, I try to tell people I said look at you know look at this as a replacement because if you say no 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 to the bridge, and somehow this bridge goes somewhere else, one they're going to have to buy the property, two they're going to go through the environmentals, three they're going to have to go through all kinds of lawsuits. Billions of dollars. And, and you're looking you're looking at you know anywhere from twenty years and on to build a bridge somewhere else. Sure. Well, for the last seventy years, if you were going to the beaches, if you were going to the eastern shore, western shore you know, traversing one way or the other, all roads led to these bridges. Sure. And you look what they've done to, they've added 97, they've added a lane on Route 50, they dualized Route 2, they've added uh, 404s now dualized, and now we have a bypass in Delaware to get you from 95 onto Route 1 and onto 301 South to cross We've the We've become Bay 95 East, whether exactly. we like it or not. Yes, exactly. Yes. So, you know, with that being said, the traffic's here and it's not going anywhere. Yeah. So, you know, we need to do what's best for Queen Anne's County because what will kill Queen Anne's County is the traffic. It will. I mean, I, I honestly believe that our property values, 10 years ago, we weren't, we weren't having this conversation. Right. 10 years ago, we didn't have any issues with traffic. You know, the economy got better, the building started picking up again, and then those that have the funds and the money, I mean, you know, it's, it's, we have beach traffic on the weekends, but most of that's commuter, as in somebody owns a place at the beach and as you know, everybody goes down Thursday, I'm Friday, guilty. or Saturday, I'm guilty. Yes. and they come home Sunday night. Yeah, yeah. And we just can't handle it. And we've fought for the last three years, four years, with coming up with different ideas with the state, queuing the, the, the backups from 404 towards Easton and, and, and controlling that flow to, to relieve some of the pressure at the Bay Bridge. Look, the bridges, and I'm going to just speak to the Westbound Bridge, sure. the Westbound Bridge and Eastbound also. Uh, the, the Route 50 is rated for 1,500 vehicles per hour per lane. And they do. They run through there. We have counters. Right. When it gets to the bridge, there's no shoulders. People slow down. People get more concerned. You have a lot, you know, just nervous drivers. 
We have never been able to get those counters to read over 1,200 in an hour. Never. Okay. okay. So right there is 600 vehicles an hour that will back up. Back up. That and it just doesn't go away. I will say today, and actually it was yesterday, I believe, the state has completed more good news. The state has completed the joint replacements on the on the westbound bridge. Okay. So there's no more steel plates to bounce over. There they go. So that's all done. They've got the first gantry replaced as you get on the bridge. That's the new prototype for the gantries. And they are doing MDTA, you know, kudos to them. They are doing everything humanly possible. All the construction you see on both sides of the bridge is for an automated gate system. So before they had to move cones back and forth, if there's an accident or something happens, in order to immediately push a button, the lights, the overhead gantries will tell you, um, and they'll, they'll go all the way back to the McDonald's at, right. at uh, Castle Marina, mm -hmm. and they go to the McDonald's, ironically, uh, going east and westbound, the gantries start, and then you'll see arrows above your heads turning yellow, green, red, whatever, and then gates will swing out, just like they do on 95, uh, in Virginia when they when they do their traffic. So that's what all that construction is going on now. They're trying to get a gate system up and operational by not this fall, but next in 2022, yeah. fall you, 22. I think all the elected officials and the transportation people mm -hmm. are doing the best they can mm -hmm. with an impossible geographic situation. It is. I it mean, is. if you want to go to Ocean City, mm -hmm. you're going to have to cross the Bay Bridge. Correct. It's not, if, you want to, if you live in, I have relatives who live in Plymouth, Mass. Mm -hmm. In the summer, there's one road that goes right. up Cape Cod. Right. Guess what? They have exactly what we have. Yep. And my cousins say, Freddie, it ain't never going to change. Nope. If you don't, I, I'm sorry. Right. I don't want people cannot, they're not going to speak to me anymore. Right. It's not going to change. Right. And I'm sorry. I, you yeah. know, I, I'm not. Well, I, it's not going to change unless we, we move forward something. with this new bridge. Yeah, and, well, and, and again, so, you know, the state, and it's a difficult process because, you, you know, you're going through the phase one of the NEPA. There's a phase two that will tell you exactly where the bridge is going to touch down in both locations. Okay. But keep in mind, this is a corridor project, and the public needs to understand that. This is from the 97 Route 50 split in Anne Arundel right. County mm -hmm. to the 5301 split here. Okay. So, you know, I, I envision four lanes in both directions. I envision where at 301, one lane peels off. At 404, another lane will peel off, and then you'll have two the rest of the way to move this traffic. We want this traffic to get through just Queen Anne's County keep as moving. quick as possible. Keep moving. I envision Jersey, sound walls, just like they do. Any, anywhere in the state, when they on, on the Beltway, for instance, and, and Route 50 and other major arteries, when they build wider, they have to put up sound barrier walls. Right. And I mean, I look at Stevensville Middle School, and every time I drive by, I look at our the kids are playing well, back the there. Oh, the field is right there. Oh, the field is right there on 50. Yeah, yeah. So the noise and everything else. So, you know, I envision the sound walls to, to quiet our neighborhoods down Good. and keep that traffic out there. I envision overpasses, maybe possibly at least two more to connect. I mean, when, when 50 came through originally, and it was one bridge, you had red lights, we had the draw bridge. Right, right. When the second bridge came along, and then they, they along came reached the beach, they eliminated the lights, they gave us a couple overpasses. Kept and, traffic and, moving and that a little was more. Right. But we have no pedestrian overpasses. No, we, we have no that. overpasses on 50 that will allow you to walk or drive over with the exception of, of Route 8. And that's a dangerous one to walk on. <laughs> so, you know, these are all <laughs> the things walk. that, you know, if, if a bridge is going to come here and we're going to, Tear down, they're gonna to have to tear down at least one of them. Okay. That's my feeling. And that's why I wish the state would come out and say this. I wish the state would say, here's what we're, we think is, this is gonna look like, so that the public can get more educated, so that this traffic can flow through. I mean, we, the state already owns the right of ways, the state owns the property on the eastern shore, they own this property on the western shore. You know, I mean, I, I look at it now, we have a, a Jersey wall down Route 50 from the Bay Bridge going all, all the way to almost Castle Marina. Mm -hmm. Well, the, and that's two shoulders, so that can be another lane. I mean, there's there's room to make more lanes, and and the and the state knows. I mean, this is what they do for a living. I I, I don't, and I just I, I do think that that's the only answer that will work to deal with this traffic problem. Well, the important thing is the commissioners are working on the issue, right? Oh, yeah. To keep traffic yeah. going, yeah. working with the state, mm -hmm. listening to the community, mm -hmm. and it's a geographic problem, unfortunately, right. but right. we're working and we're on top of it, right? Right. And as you know, Fred, contraflow is the most dangerous thing you can do on any bridge oh, anywhere. Yeah. And we do it for almost five miles. Mm. It's crazy. It's crazy. It, it, it is crazy. So, you know, and the state knows that. And I mean, I've lived here 16 years. This bridge, these bridges have been under construction the entire time I've lived here. And, I, and, and again, 
I, I think, again, public officials are doing a great. It's just a condition we have to live in. No right. one loves it, right. likes it. I used to teach at Stevensville Middle School, mm -hmm. and it was before they had the overpasses, right. and, and they used to have the lights. Right. And we had a principal who said, look, at Friday, you leave the minute you can. Right. And we just lived with it. That's right. the way it was. Yeah. I mean, we complained, we fussed, mm -hmm. but we knew the public officials were doing the best they could to mm -hmm. make this thing work, right? Well, I mean, and you know, it was uh, when they read the, the redecking they did, right. And we had all the traffic issues, and they were stopping tractor trailers. They did contraflow, you know. In, in Queen Anne's County, got vocal, got vocal oh, on, yeah. on the media, got vocal yes, uh, on the, on, you know, and the governor heard us. And I honestly do believe that if we did not make any noise then and complain, that those toll booths would still be still up today. Still be there. I mean, because when they met with us that that fall, they told us it's another two years, another two years before they go to all electronic tolling here, and with. That issue, the governor accelerated, said, start now. Okay. And it has helped. I mean, it's reduced accidents by almost 40% eastbound by getting rid of the toll booths. And, that, and when you reduce accidents... I think it flows you, better the last couple of years. Again, oh yeah, I, mean, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. You drive it every yeah, day. Every day. I, yeah. think, I think the flow is better. It's much better. And even we're on the trail during the uh, June and July. Mm -hmm. That traffic moves. Now, yeah. you have odd incidents happen, which Correct. are tragic sometimes. Right. But you can't, you, know, you can't do anything about that. No. But with that being said, you know, the, the, the toll booths going down does help. But again, 10 years ago, we never had these massive backups. You know, I mean, last year alone, we had four of them that were over 10 miles. And you yeah. don't ever hear about that on the news. No. It's just, you're right. People think that, that we, you should, you know, you, it's part of going to the beach. Well, that might be right for those going to the beach, but it's wrong for our citizens that live there that don't leave their houses. Yeah, yeah. So we're trying to get control. That's what we had our beach to bridge plan. We wanted to do decals on cars and control the ramps. And as you know, our sheriff's department is out there they're every Sunday. They're stopping cars, yes. Every Sunday they're yeah. sitting at those ramps. Yes, and, and when it gets to a point, you know, because we have two firehouses, you know, our emergency services, two of them they are along that. they got to be able to get out, right? That's they right. Have to be and, able to get out. they got to be able to get their volunteers there. So these are all problems that they're trying to, you know, okay. we're, we're trying to get addressed. The important thing is you're working on it, mm -hmm. you're right on top of it, yep. and you love input from the public, right? Absolutely, and that's yeah. what that's what you want. Now tell me something that's not driving your I mean, I always thought with the commissioners, mm -hmm. I mean, they give you problems all the mm -hmm. time. Give me some good news in terms of, uh, okay, we know the Bay Bridge is a problem. We're right. gonna, we're, look, at, I'm 74. Mm -hmm. It was a problem in 1952. Right. I used to take ferry boats before that. I'm going to go to my grave, unfortunately, mm -hmm. thinking about the Bay Bridge. Right. How about is some good stuff happening? Give me some good stuff in terms of Upper County. We got broadband coming. Broadband is definitely coming. Okay. Um, I, I will say, you know, uh, the Upper County is it, our farms. Well, let, let's just let's touch on our farms go for ahead. a minute. Yes. Right now, Queen Anne's County is second in the state in pres preservation efforts. To, uh, for farmland. For farming. Yeah. And I, before I leave, we will be number one. Good. You know, we put into play. Uh, is that, I mean, is that still our number one industry farming? Absolutely. Agriculture? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. Without yes. a doubt. Okay. And, you know, the, this set of commissioners voted and, uh, you know, uh, passed a, uh, uh, pri a private property tax on solars. I mean, these, these, these solar farms, you know, the mega, well, we're talking about the mega ones. You drive around the county everywhere you go now in the fields. I guess you guys have helped promote right. that. You see well, these solar farms. Well, we, we want, we, when I say we, the county, we, we put together a plan that we wanted 2,200 acres. And there's a corridor, I think it's two miles wide on each side of the main transmission lines going up north. And we said, okay, 2,200 acres of solar arrays, the, the mega farms, you know, right, the, right, the megawatts, right. is, is what we have we have uh, planned for. Now, I got a feeling that the state's gonna come down on us in the next year, two, maybe three, and say, you gotta take more. And we're doing our fair share in the state of saying, okay, if, if we take these farms, well, let me, Go ahead. I, I know yeah. I get a little confused We have here. plenty of, yeah. you're not confusing, well, you're good. Uh, I, I will say that the, the property taxes we're using uh, on the personal property, which means the panels, we are funding our mouth program. Okay. And we're trying to get it up to a now, million dollars. Remind everybody what the mouth program is. Maryland Agricultural Just come close. Okay. Preservation. So basically it's, it's it's a fund that the state has and you have to you have to the, contribute your portion of it. And this allows you to take these farms and uh, put restrictions upon them, basically saying the farmer takes that money, accepts that money, and that property can never be developed. Okay. Ever. And that's what I mean. So we are preserving more more land Right now, we're, we're at second in the state, but I want us to be first. Within well, I mean, the next it's, year like I was saying, it's amazing driving around this county now. Mm -hmm. 
everywhere you go, there's solar farms. Yeah. I'm not talking one or two panels. Right. I'm talking hundreds of panels. Yeah. Yeah. 404, I was out there the other day yes. on the Queen Anne's County side. Yes. It went on and yep. on, I and mean, that's a fantastic. And that was one of the first ones, and we had a lot of problems with that. I'll be okay. honest with you. We had a lot of problems because, you know, what happens is, is a company comes in and permits it, builds it, and immediately sells it to somebody that's going to use the energy. Right. Well, that one had been sold two times. <laughs> so, you know, they were supposed to have a buffer up. The buffer right. was dying, was neglected. It took us a while to, to hunt them down and find them and start to get this uh, corrected. Okay. So now that made us, you know, moving forward with other solar arrays, you know, the, all this is now put into the process and we know what's going on there. And also yeah. we, we want to make sure that they don't strip the topsoil. Yeah. That's a big yeah. thing that I, I push too. Because, oh, for the, well, the solar. Right. So because, okay. you know, they, they, it's, say they're solar farms for only 25 years. They could also go back to agriculture. So we want to make sure that topsoil stays there. I just think know? it's amazing. And again, I'm repeating myself, what you guys have done. You drive around this county, mm -hmm. upper county now, mm -hmm. and that's all you see is solar farms. Right. I mean, it seems like every five or 10 miles you go, there's another, I mean. That's yeah, well, we haven't, there's only been uh, four that I know of. Okay. Four, four major ones. The smaller ones, the smaller ones are not the mega ones. Like okay. there's, there's a couple uh, commercial chicken uh, outfits that have their own solar that, farm, or that supply power to their own processing or, or their own uh, okay, facilities. Okay, so they're doing so, it. Yeah. Now, Jim, look, we got about nine. Let me ask, we'll have some fun here. I, as a county commissioner, mm -hmm. tell me, what's the most fun? I mean, what's the, if you have, think for a second, if I said to you, Jim, is two and a half terms, is that, is that where you are now? now? Uh, um, yeah, uh, yeah, a little over two and a okay. half terms. Yeah. What has been over the eight years or 10 years, whatever yeah. it is, what mm -hmm. has been the most fun? I know you're a people person, so obviously meeting people is part of it. Well, I mean, actually the most fun is, is probably the county fair. Oh, okay. All because right. you get, you're right, you get to meet a lot you of people. You see everybody, and, right? and people will come up to you and say, you know, I agree with what you said, or I don't agree with what you said, and you get a conversation there. So, you know, and again, uh, yeah, I think that's great. I, I think that Queen Anne's County is blessed with the amount of organizations and people that truly care. Okay. And I, I, I genuinely, uh, you know, believe that. I mean, when I look at organizations like Haven Ministries, you know, uh, Chesapeake Bay Environmental, uh, you know, our, our uh, drug-free coalition. I mean, those uh, drug-free coalition, I've sat on that now for five years. And Warren and Kathy Wright, God bless them, the chamber's involved, we, and the sheriff's involved, and Lance is involved, but we can get people involved. You go to those meetings, and there's not an open seat anywhere in there. Okay. All volunteers. All volunteers working towards the same goal as, you know, to save lives. And, and you know, I, I just... It, it's, it does the soul good to see that. It makes that. Queen yeah. Anne's County a little special. Absolutely. Now let me ask you this, crystal ball time. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. what, if you had the power to do whatever, what would mm -hmm. you like to see? I mean, you did a great job. Mm -hmm. I think you spearheaded the group to get us athletic fields yes. at the two yeah. high schools. Mm -hmm. What would you like to do before? I don't know, well, my, the project yeah. I'm working on right now okay. is, is, is the new Board of Education building. Okay. Putting it right here across the street. Has the old one fallen down yet? The old one is falling down. <laughs> Cracks it, in the walls this you, big. You know it. So you've been in there. I mean, the, the roof is getting ready to fall in. The windows, are, you know, it's just, it is. What this should have happened 10, 15 years ago. Are we thinking ago. putting something out here with the Y and this yes. building? And, okay. So, so the Y's moving, good. Yeah, that's another one. The Y's moving forward. Hopefully they'll start construction here within the next three months. Yeah. So that's going to be out here where, you know, where the Vincent building is. And right here in the center, it's already been laid out. You know, we, we've had a conceptual on it for a new board of education. Oh, so we'll put a, okay, right. Yeah. There, okay. So, in, which will have the anchor academy with it. Okay. And it, you know, we, the study showed that we could build a new building for approximately fifteen million dollars, or we could renovate the old building for fifteen million dollars, but it still would not be up to ADA mm. and or safety standards. What will they do with the old? Will that become a historical? No, thing? no, no. I, I honestly don't. I, I just think it's just so. It's it's bad. It's in really bad oh, shape. Oh yes, I, I, I mean, I've worked in it. Right. Besides the basement, which right. I wouldn't send an human being down there. You saw the cracks. Right. There are cracks in the wall. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. I mean the plumbing, everything. The, the, the some of the some of the woods. I mean it's 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 beyond. Repair. Is there a five, is that a one or five or ten year? What do you think? Oh no. Oh, no. We're, the, the we're hoping that the board of ed. Uh, I mean, Carla, if you're listening, you know, <laughs> okay. the sooner the better. Fingers we'll crossed. hire the, you know, the architectural and engineering firms okay. so that we can, you know, we, we'd like to see that, you know, we, we put in the budget already, I think, two or two and a half million dollars this year. Oh, so it's, the, oh, it's yeah. there. No, it's, it's going. It's, it's going. going. It's going. Okay. So that, that's one of them. Uh, and then the next one, I'm, you know, it's the Kent Narrows. You know, what do you is, want to do down the Kent Narrows? Well, the Kent Narrows, think about this for a minute. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of things going on down there. Mm -hmm. uh, 
There's a, you know, the expansion to the Botel. Right. There's a new hotel being built. There's going to be another restaurant built. And it is a major focal point oh, it's unbelievable for out of counties yeah. to come here to, for the seafood and, and you know, just that whole Eastern Shore type of yeah, living so, yeah. that, there. So what I'd like to see happen down there is we just, there's not enough parking. It, it's always been an issue. Which is true. If you don't park at the restaurant, you're in trouble. Or right. underneath well, the bridge. Or, and, and, yeah, or under the bridge. And, and those are always filled up. Yeah. And with, with that being said, we get people parking all along Route 18. It's dangerous. Oh, I know. It's very right. dangerous. And think about it for a minute. From, from um, uh, what's the name of the, the road there where the jetty is? It's drawing a blank there. But That's okay. Yeah, you were, I that, know right. From there to all the way down to Big Owls, there's no trees. There's no green space. Exactly. And, and, you know, to me, a parking garage somewhere over there would, would solve a lot of problems. I know. Yeah. The, the trail, Jim, I think the best, what, personally, one of the greatest things you guys have done, I mean, it's amazing how that trail is, Kent Island trail is being used. And yeah. they all end up at Kent and Arrows yeah. asking, is there some place that I can go to eat? Yeah. Is there yeah. some place I can go, yada, yada, yada. So yeah, being yeah. in that develop would be great. And you know, talking about that tra Cross Island Trail, mm -hmm. uh, last Sunday, the wife and I were out to dinner up at the Italian place behind Cracker Barrel next to my chocolate. Great okay. place, gotta try it. <laughs> uh, and right there was a girlfriend that she went to high school with. Oh, wow. They were from Crofton. Oh. They'd come over to ride on our trails. They yeah. love them. Last story, it was amazing. The people, the locals use it. Uh -huh. They seem to be the walkers mm -hmm. and the early morning folks. Mm -hmm. But then at about 10 o'clock, it magically changes. Mm -hmm. People from, Bill Moore and I do it, as you know. Mm -hmm. People from Baltimore, yeah. Washington, West Virginia, oh, yeah. Northern Virginia, mm -hmm. looking for places to eat, mm -hmm. take a break. It's, it's just unbelievable. And we're on the process. We are working right now towards getting that trail, the Southern Cat Island Trail, up and connected to oh, the rest great. of it. So okay. that is a work in progress right now, and that's okay. another thing I'd like to see done before I'm finished here. Oh, you've got plenty yeah. of time. And, and with that being said, there is a project on the horizon uh, at Pier 1 mm -hmm. that uh, will, if it gets to fruition, build, at no cost to Queen Anne's County, a pedestrian overpass okay, over then. Route 50 oh, wow. that would tie Terrapin and the trail to the Southern Kent Island. Oh, that'd be great. It would be, be awesome. Great. I mean, that's one thing that we have that log jam. We don't have that connectivity. I might be 90 yeah. years old and still riding that trail. You're going to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> now, Jim, look yeah. at my time's up. Huh? Tough question of the day now. Uh -huh. This is no holes barred. Uh -huh. Everyone says, Fred, you're too uh -huh. easy on them. Uh -huh. August 28th, 7 p.m., Ravens versus Redskins. Who wins? What's the score? That's preseason? Preseason. Well, you, you, I'm not a big fan of preseason, so I'm going to give Where are they playing? Do you know? Probably Baltimore this year. That's a guess. That's I'm going to give it to the Redskins. Okay. We, uh, they got to win at some point. I'm gonna, well, I mean, <laughs> uh, I hope they win because, you know, the Capitals are, aren't doing too good. Uh, we're in trouble. Uh, yeah, and, and then naturally the Orioles too. So, you know, it's... Well, Jim, look, at thank you for taking time off of work. Anytime. I tell all the commissioners, come on the show. You're yeah. all doing a great job, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. And tell them this is easy. He's going to ask me about football games. Right? This is too easy. <laughs> I'm yeah. Fred McNeil. Thank you for watching Conversations With. My time's up. Thank you for your time. We're going to see you next time.